Hello everybody, it's Uber Gamer here for a brand new Risk of Rain 2 video, continuing on with the how to unlock all of the alternate skills for all the survivors. So today we'll be doing Artificer, so if we check in the logbook here, go to Challenges, and we can go in here and look at Artificer stuff. We have Artificer Massacre, as Artificer performed multi-kill of 20 enemies. We have Artificer Chunked, as Artificer fully defeat the teleporter boss in a 1 second burst of damage. And Artificer Orbital Bombardment, as Artificer kill 15 enemies before touching the ground. So we'll be getting all those. Um, we'll be getting them both in separate runs. For the first run, you'll, you will need the Command and Glass Artifact. This will be the 1 second burst of damage on the Teleporter boss. Go and play on Drizzle. If you want to, you can play on Monsoon, but it's just going to be easier on Drizzle. Um, you don't also don't have to use Glass, you, as you don't have to use either. Um, but I just strongly recommend doing it because it's going to take a lot faster. I also will be using the basic loadout for Artificer, and this will unlock Artificer Chunked, uh, which is this, the cast in Nano Spear. So let's just go ahead and go into the match, um, or in, into the run here. And basically, we're just going to get a couple crowbars and then defeat the boss here. So let's get into it. Um, so first we have to find some some items here. Um, I also apologize for the late um, content because I was a bit busy the past few weeks. So I have not been able to con to upload content. But it should be a little more consistent now because I'm getting a little less busy. Um, but I will have a couple things coming up in the next few weekends. But it should be fine. Um, I just got to find time to do videos because I'm getting used to a new schedule, right? So it's like I got to find time to do these things. I don't know why I cast all of them. I just have to do one. It's good enough. It's good enough. All right. Go and get this. So basically, we're just going to get crowbars, and then as long as we have enough crowbars, we should be able to um, just one-shot the boss with our nano bomb here. How much? How much damage? Oh, that was eighty-four. It's kind of weird. So I don't actually usually use flamethrower on artificer. That why is this not hitting? It's got like bad range. Okay. Um, ooh, ow. Even better, if you can actually get a, uh, get an equipment, actually. That actually would be really good. That's precisely what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get the prey on, actually. If you can, just get the prey on. That would be a lot better than what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but if you don't have a thing, uh, you could just do whatever you want. You can, you can play it however you want. This might honestly be enough. Um, there's another equipment barrel. Yeah, so if you can find an equipment barrel, get the prey on. If you don't have the prey on, just get a really high damage equipment. Um, disposable missile launcher. It has to be in a one second burst of damage, which means that the, it doesn't have to be one second when the boss spawns. It just has to be, um, in one second. So you can take, you just have to do it over the course of one second, which is, um, a pretty short amount of time, but you can usually do it with, like, I usually do it with, like, one nano bomb, and that's usually enough. So, hopefully this will be enough. I want to stack, like, one more crowbar if I can. Um, we're doing 600, so the boss will roughly have, like, 2,000 health. How much How much damage are we doing? That's 203. That's probably not accurate, because we're doing, like, 600 on the other guy. Yeah, because he keeps hitting them with the AoE blasts. So, I don't actually know how much damage we're actually doing. Yeah, it's hard to know, really. I, I think it's probably in the thousands, if I had to guess. I mean, I could do some quick math real quick if I look at how much how much damage does it do when it's charged. 2,000%. So that would be 10,000% in glass, plus 225%. So that would be like triple, uh, a little over triple damage. That would be like 3,000% damage, so like 3,600 damage. Is that right? Also, the longer you wait, the more health the boss is going to have. Um, I'm just going to use the, the nano bomb. Imagine I miss it. That'd be so cringe. Yeah, easy. So we just one-shot the boss. That's basically all you have to do. Um, you can use the prey on. Um, just stack literally three crowbars works. Um, just do some quick math, and I was able to figure it out. The boss had, like, what, 2,100 health? And I was and I was doing, like, 3,600 damage with my thing. So over to 36. It was, like, 4,000, I think. Anyway, so that's the first one. I already have it unlocked, so it doesn't display it, but... Uh, I thought about maybe doing a fresh file and just going in and doing that. But then I had to unlock all the artifacts again, so it was just a big, big mess of things. So, the next two you can get in one thing, and that's where you have to kill 15 enemies 
Uh, is it 15 enemies simultaneously and 20 in the midair? Let's just double check. Um, I always get those two mixed up, I swear. It's like the only, it's the only ones, only achievements I ever get mixed up. Okay, yeah, so you need to do 15 enemies before touching the ground and perform a multi-kill of 20. So those are the two ones that you need to get. That'll unlock the Nano Bolt and the Ion Surge. Um, so 20, so multi-kill of 20. So go ahead and smack on a couple different things. I like to smack on the artifact uh, or swarms um, because this will double the enemy spawn but have their health, so you can get easier multi-kills this way. Um, and I will also be using the flamethrower. Fortunately, Artificer has a hover, so you don't need to like get a bunch of hopu feathers. Basically, you just stock up on a bunch of enemies. You just wait for like 20 enemies to spawn. Just eliminate the wisps is the main thing. Because it's going to be hard to get the, multi, the uh, like, a bunch of enemies with the uh, the wisps, right? So, just basically stock up a bunch of enemies, and then you should be fine. So, I'm going to wait for a bunch of enemies to spawn. Alrighty, I think we are doing okay here. Um, hang on, let me just check. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry, I had to ch check something. Um, okay, so we have a ton of enemies stocked up here. Um, and this took me a couple minutes, like two minutes to do, about three minutes. So I'm trying to get rid of these wisps, but they are kind of getting in my way. But as you can see, we do have a ton of enemies here. So I'm going to kind of go in here, and you can kind of hover, and just launch your bomb out, and just hope that you get all the enemies. That looked like 20 enemies to me, but I can't tell for sure, right? Um, and then for the as for the enemies in midair, pretty chill, because you don't have to do it. You just have to do it before you touch the ground, uh, which we definitely got. I can tell you guys right there. Um, I also did not know that you could hover and do flamethrower. That's actually something I just learned. I never used flamethrower, so I wouldn't know. So anyways, that'll unlock the other two skills. Um, if you want to, you can continue on the run. I did pick up a squid pop on accident. Um, well, not on accident, but I was like, maybe I'll loot some chests just to help. See if there's anything that can help me out. Anyways, you don't actually have to use the artifact of swarms. It just helps things go a little bit faster. Anyways, that is how you get all of the artificer... Um, uh, the skills for Artificer, the alternate skills. I like to do this loadout. This is generally what I do. Um, but some people like to do this. Some people like to do this. Some people, I'm sure, like to do this. And people like to do this, too. So, um, I guess it's, <laughs> it's pretty much all the loadouts. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll try and release content more often. Um, but with that in mind, um, I'm going to go through all the survivors. I'm just kind of getting some of the easier, the faster ones out of the way. Artificer was a very fast one that I'm like, I know, I, I know how to get her skills, so... Should be pretty easily um, done. Anyways, thanks guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.